Picture yourself coming smiling out of a car you parked uphill and one thing that you don't want to miss. Pulling up that handbrake. Hi, welcome to Auto Rage Explained where I tell you basic technologies used in automobiles so that you can understand your vehicle better. Now, if you want to watch this video in Hindi, click on the link in the description bar below because Auto Rage India Hindi is a Hindi channel and Auto Rage India which you are watching right now is an English channel. And if you are looking to buy a new car and you are confused on which car should you buy, we might have a solution for you at the end of the video. I know your driving school instructor always asked you to pull that handbrake lever every time you parked your car. Well, today we will understand how these handbrakes work and those plush looking electronic parking brakes work which you usually see in expensive cars. But why do you need parking brakes after all? You need them because they also act as emergency brakes. If you take a close look at two wheelers, you can spot two independent braking system. One for front wheels and another for rear wheels. And they act as fail safe in case one of them fails. So cars have fail safe in form of parking brakes. Now this system operates independent of your regular foot pedal brakes. Like I told you in previous video that regular braking system use hydraulics. But parking brakes or emergency brakes don't use hydraulics. Instead, they use mechanical links. Let's understand working of emergency brakes. Now, those of you who have ridden a bicycle before, my best bet is that you have used the brakes also. Or not. When you press brake in your bicycle, the wire attached to the lever is pulled and in turn it pulls the brake pads in such a manner that brake shoe sticks to the rims which reduces the speed of cycle. But I know you are like, hey Akash, we are talking about car brakes not cycle brakes but they are relatable. So when you pull your car's hand brake, two independent wires are pulled which are connected to rear brakes mostly and if rear wheels have drum brakes, the drum brake pads engage and if you have disc brakes at rear, then either your disc brakes will have disc drum combination at rear where the disc brakes has a small drum attached to the disc known as auxiliary brakes and hand brakes work on those small drum brakes attached to the disc brakes and if it is not a disc drum combination and just disc brakes, the wire push the piston in brake caliper to apply brakes. Hey, what about those fancy electric brakes? In e-brakes, when you pull that e-brake, it runs an actuator with the help of a motor at rear wheels, which pushes the pads to the disc brakes and apply brakes, which is similar operation to hill hold system. But why aren't parking brakes as efficient as regular brakes? Well, because regular brakes use brake boosters which multiply the braking effect. Whereas parking brakes, emergency brakes or hand brakes, whatever you want to call them, don't use brake boosters to multiply the braking effect. And now you know how those parking brakes work. Well, don't thank me, thank Bodmo for supporting this video. Bodmo is an online platform where you can go buy spare parts online just like you do on Flipkart or Amazon and you can also download their application and get genuine spare parts delivered at your home. And are you confused on your next car purchase? Don't worry, WhatsApp us on this number and we'll understand your needs and based on your needs, we'll suggest you right car because everyone has different needs and we try our best to give you right suggestion. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do like, comment and subscribe. It keeps us motivated and your car healthy.